So let's use a Caesar cipher with Shift of 3 to encrypt the message we write at noon. So the Caesar cipher is, uh, also called a sh uh, basic shift substitution cipher. The idea is that we're gonna take the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, so on and so forth, and we're going to shift it, uh, several spaces. So in this case, uh, we are going to shift A three spaces over, and so A is gonna map to D. B is gonna map to E, and so on and so forth. So we're going to shift the alphabet over. Uh, so the entire shift here would look like this. A would map to D, B to E, C to F, so on and so forth. So to encrypt the message we write at noon, we simply encrypt each character. So W ma maps to Z, E maps to H, and typically we just do everything in uppercase. Uh, R maps to U, I maps to L, D maps to G, E maps to H, A maps to D, T maps to W, N maps to Q, O maps to R, R, Q. And there we are. There is our message, uh, encrypted. Now, if we just sent it like this, um, somebody might be able to guess at what some of these words are based on how long they, they are. And so it's typical to either, c uh, just combine all the letters into one big long string, uh, or to chunk them up, uh, in some, uh, sort of standard chunking. So for example, we might, uh, group them by three characters at a time, uh, something like, like this. And there would be our encrypted message. So now, we can go the other way now, uh, decrypting the message. This one here, if it was encrypted using a shift cipher of shift 5. So a shift 5 would mean that A would be shifted 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 characters over. So A would map to F. The whole mapping would look like this. So to decrypt, we go the other way. If G is the first character of my encrypted message, then B is the first character of my unencrypted message. Uh, g continuing on here, Z would unencrypt to U. D would unencrypt, oops, D would unencrypt to Y. And we can continue this on. And our final unencrypted message looks like this. Now it looks like what the message was supposed to be was buy 50 shares. And we have an extra character here at the end, and chances are that extra character was added in, uh, just to make this original, uh, message, uh, come out in nice chunks of three. So, thinking about this cipher, uh, how hard is it to break this cipher? So suppose you intercepted a message, and you know that the sender is using one of these Caesar shift ciphers, but you don't know what the shift being used is. But the message begins EQZP. How hard would it be to encrypt this message? Well, keep in mind that there's only 25 possible shifts, uh, and so it would not be that hard to literally list out every single possible shift and the encrypted message, uh, or the decrypted message. And if we look through these, only one of these, yep, only one of these produces text that looks like it's likely part of actual words. And so, it's incredibly easy to do what's called a brute force attack on a Caesar shift cipher. A brute force attack being one where we just try every possibility. So this is not a very secure encryption method.